Hello everyone, welcome to Raptors Let's Play of Terraria. Well, that's a Let's Play Raptors Guide of Terraria, is another word. Um, today I'll be showing you all the crafting recipes and explaining. No, not all the craft. <laughs> sorry, I keep saying all the crafting recipes. Um, I'll be showing you all the potion recipes, uh, bar one. I'll explain that one. I'll explain to you why soon. And crafting. No, not crafting. Flipping out. My brain's in a muddle today. Um, and... Damn it, now I've got... Um, and potion making. Now, to make potions, you need bottles, which is... Um, glass, and you just put it in next to a crafting bench. And you can make bottles. Fill the bottles up with water by going into the crafting menu. Um, near a place of water, and here we have it. all the crafting, all the potion recipes. First, we see the lesser healing potion. You get two of these for every mushroom and gel, and two gel, and two bottle empty bottles. And this will heal 50 of your health. When you get that, that's enough. If you add a glowing mushroom to that, you can make a healing potion, which heals 100 life. Here you get a lesser mana potion, which is one fallen star, two gel and two bottles, for every two lesser mana potion. Now, if you add this with a glowing mushroom again, you get a regular mana potion, which restores 100 mana. And you, if you put these two together, you will get a restoration potion. You get two restoration potions, and you make um, a better restoration potion. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, just let me see if I can show you guys. Yeah, that would, no. Oh, right then. I'll get to that later. Anyway. Um, now we have the Obsidian Skin Potion. This provides immunity to lava for four minutes. However, while you're in lava, if you're completely immersed, you will still need to come up to the surface to breathe. This is really helpful for going into the corruption and uh, corruption going into the hell biome and mining out hellstone as this will release lava. Next we have the regeneration potion which speeds up your life regeneration for a certain amount of time. After that we have the swiftness potion. Oh wait no I should explain. That's also we use a bottle of water, a day bloom and a mushroom. The next one a swiftness potion increases your movement speed by 25%. That's really helpful if you're trying to get to other biomes quickly. Or if you make a sky bridge, you can use it to um, collect loads of fallen stars and you just sprint across with that. That needs a blink root, a cactus, and a bottle of water. Next, we have the gills potion, which is a bottle of water, water leaf, and a coral, which can be found at the um, ocean biome, so water leaf can be found in the desert biome. Uh, the gills potion uh, allows you to breathe water instead of air. I think this counts for you being completely immersed in lava as well, so this along with the obsidian skin potion would be a brilliant combination for trying to um, collect hellstone. The iron skin potion made with one iron ore, a day bloom, and a bottle of water, um, increases defense by eight to five minute duration. This is very helpful when you're trying to face bosses or go into harder biomes like the underground jungle. Next we have the mana regeneration potion, which increases mana regeneration for a two minute period. 
This uses a bottle of water, a moon glow, which is found in the um, jungle biome. It only glows at night though, so you're best off to try to find them at night. A day bloom and a fallen star. After that we have the magic power potion, which increases the power of magic attacks by 20% for 2 minutes. This need, To make this you need bottled water, a moon glow, death weed which is found inside the corruption bone, naturally growing on the dirt and on the epstone, and the fallen star. Now after that is the spelunker potion, used as a bottle of water, blink root, moon glow and a golden ore. This is a very helpful potion for mining because um, the same way that demonite ore glows so you can see it on any part of the map, you can see any um, potential helpful item. For instance, you could see a chest um, and you can see all the ores. Now next one down is the invisibility potion. This is only really helpful in multiplayer as you turning invisible will not stop the mobs seeing you. Um, this needs a bottle of water, blink root and moon glow. However, items that are equipped will still be seeable. So they, people will still be able to tell you're there if you have equipped items in the first three slots. Next we have the shine potion, which is to craft it a bottle of water, a day bloom and a glowing mushroom found in the glowing mushroom biome. Yeah, I don't know the name of that biome, so I'll call it that. And this, let's just see, you emit light for five minutes so you don't have to keep placing torches around. Um, this is very helpful in, in combat situations, in new areas you haven't explored underground, because you don't have to place a torch to see what's happening. Now, next we have the Night Owl Potion. Increases your night vision for four minutes. I've never really seen the benefit of that too much. Maybe some of you have, I'm not sure. But yeah, to craft this, you need a bottle of water, a day bloom, and a blink root. After that, we have the water walking potion. It helps you. With that, you can walk across the surface of water. However, you can't swim up to the top of it. Um, while you're on top of water, you press down in order for you to go into the water. For this you need a bottle of water, a death weed and a cactus. Next we have the water, wait no, I've just passed that, very sorry. Wait did I cover the, no I haven't covered the thorns potion, did I? I'll cover it again just in case I haven't. Um, thorns potion, um, whenever something touches you it takes damage for two minutes certain how much damage it is, I think it's like 5 or something like that. Now, with the archery potion, which to craft you need a bottle of water, a day bloom and a lens. The lens is obviously dropped by the, um, oh, what's his name? The lens is dropped by the demon eyes and day blooms, I think, yeah, they just um, grow around you in the regular biome. And that increases what is it? Um, arrow speed and damage by 20% for a generation of 4 minutes. This is helpful for defeating the Eye of Cthulhu because of him being an early game enemy. Um, and also, um, you can find it helpful in later on periods in the game where you don't have gun or ammo for it. Next we have the Hunter Potion. Um, like demonite glows, this gl th this makes enemies glow, which is a very helpful um, recipe indeed when you're trying to get money or specific items off of mobs. Mobs mobiles, that was a Minecraft term, sorry about that. Um, to craft this, you need a bottle of water, a day bloom, a blink root, and a shark fin. Shark fins dropped by sharks in the ocean biome. That's the quickest I've ever spoken in my life. Sorry about that. And that basically covers all of the crafting recipes for today. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to tune in for more help with Terraria and Terraria Let's Plays along with Minecraft and various other games. 
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Tell